Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a new drone app that easily creates 360 panoramas. So it flies your drone, takes the pictures, lands, and processes the photos of you and share the 360 panorama. It's also a completely free app and there's no usage restrictions. The company that makes this app is called Hangar. The app itself is called Hangar 360. You may already be familiar with the app that they already have out called Autopilot. Here in the screen you see the detailed steps in creating the 360 panorama. So you could go ahead and pause here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you how you use the app. So before you actually use the app, at least for the first few times, do recommend that you do go into your DJI Go app and check the aircraft status and make sure everything looks good there. So here's the app, and there is an introduction that helps you get acquainted with how it works. You can go ahead and skip this later on. We'll go ahead and step to this real quickly. It does launch immediately up to 300 feet really fast, so be aware of that. And then once it's done taking pictures, it's going to auto land. And then once it's landed, you're going to be copying the photos from your drone into your device, so your phone or tablet device. And here's a couple tips on how to get the best results using this app. Pause here if you'd like. So here it's giving you a little notice to make sure you've got the latest firmware for your drone and your remote controller. I'm going to touch the top left button and it's going to give you a rundown of any kind of warnings or issues that you should be aware of before you take off. Now on the right side I'm going to press that button there and it's going to give you a checklist that you actually touch line by line to make sure you acknowledge that everything is okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and press that button in the middle. It gives you a countdown. And here we go. So now it's traveling up to 300 feet and once it reaches that altitude it's going to go ahead and take all the photos it needs to create a panorama. Okay, taking the first photo. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so you don't have to watch through all the photos that it's going to take. Alright, and here it's taking the last photo, shooting straight down. Okay, so now it's prompting me to either land or to continue flying. I've gone ahead and pressed the land option. So because my landing area is a little rough, I'm going to go ahead and override and take manual control of the drone. Okay, there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get up to 
an altitude and then show you that you could actually reposition the drone to wherever point you wanted to actually start taking the 360 photos again. So here I'm going up to altitude manually. And there I just press that button on the right and it's giving me an option to either take the drone photos at the altitude I'm at or to go ahead and fly up to 300 feet and take the photos. In this case I've actually opted to go up to 300 feet so you're going to see it increase in altitude a little bit here. There it is. Alright, I'm going to cut this short because you don't need to see this again, but my point is that you don't have to take off and take the 360 photos from the point that you took off from. You could fly it to a position that you want to take the 360 photos and then go ahead and start the process with the drone to do that automatically. So here's something important here is if you abort the mission you want to make sure that you know how to use the proper switch to actually take control over the drone. So there's a link in the description so you can see all the different switch settings that you'll need to use to take over control of the drone. For the Mavic that I'm flying you're just using the switch on the right side of the controller to put it in what's normally the sport mode and then back into the regular mode. Okay, so here I'm just going back and landing the drone manually. And so once you've landed, it gives you an option to download the photos from your drone onto your device. I've chosen to do that because I have everything powered up. just makes sense to do it right now. So it's taking all the high-res photos from the drone and downloading it into your phone tablet device. It takes about 30 seconds, I believe. Now here it's giving you an option to go ahead and send the photos up to the hangar cloud service to process the photos, but I'm going to just go ahead and wait till I get home and use my home Wi-Fi to go ahead and upload those photos. So here I'm back at home and here it's giving me that option because it knows I've taken the photos to go ahead and upload those photos. So it's saying here it's going to take about 120 megabytes of data. It takes about one to two minutes here, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. Alright, so I've uploaded all the photos up to the Hangar cloud server to process the photos. And so the next step is just to wait. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes for it to actually process the photos and create a 360 panorama. So here I have the option now to actually view the 360 photo. I'm going to click on that button in the middle there and here you'll see my results. All right, nothing spectacular here, but just wanted to show you how it actually all works. So, all right, guys, so I hope you found this uh, video helpful. It's a really uh, cool app, and it just makes it really easy to go ahead and create these 360 photos. Uh, if you try to do it some other ways, and it's kind of a trial and error kind of process and takes a lot of time to do it. But here, what's also very cool is that it makes it really easy to share your photos on Facebook which is a whole nother process if you had to do that manually and of course you could email it text message it whatever you want to go ahead and share that 360 video that you just made 
All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, a really uh, cool app. Makes it super easy to create 360 panoramas. Um, so if you like this video, please like it. Got a lot of other videos that I've made and a lot more videos coming up. So thanks for watching, guys. Happy flying. Bye.